following the long tradition of unboxing videos on YouTube, I decided to do my own. Today we have the Xbox 360 250GB um, Slim Edition, um, the new Xbox 360 that Microsoft just released a couple of months ago. Um, so let's get started. So as you can see, there's only one piece of tape holding the pack from being open, or preventing the pack from being open. So there we go. Put back the Swiss Army knife. And here we go. And first thing you see are a bunch of documents. One for games, one for how to connect your accessories, and how there is built-in wireless networking now in the Xbox 360. Um, the old Xbox didn't actually have that. Um, the new one has built-in um, Wi-Fi, um, the N standard, not even the old standard, which is a welcome addition. So it's kind of tricky to actually get this open. Um, there are multiple stickers on both sides. And there we go. Almost open. And it's open. And I must say, I mean, it looks really, really nice. The glossy finish is really good. Um, people are complaining that the glossy finish is a fingerprint magnet. Um, I pretty much just, like, leave my Xbox lying around. I don't really um, touch it that often. So, I mean, if there are scratches, or, I mean, not scratches, but smudges, I just use, like, a microfiber cloth or something. It's not really a problem. It looks great, and it's actually quite well made. As you can see now, it comes with one um, controller. The controller actually has a matte finish, but not a glossy finish. I actually would have liked a glossy finish, even though it would have been a fingerprint magnet, but um, I don't know, that's just my preference. But the matte finish is pretty nice as well. Now let's open more stuff. So it comes with a headset and the instruction manual on how to set it up and stuff like that. Um, we don't really need to read that. Also has like a ton of other stuff, like documents and everything else. Oh yeah, and batteries for the controller. So now this is the wall adapter for the power brick. And I must say, I mean, you'll see in a second, the power brick is absolutely humongous. I mean, that thing is like, I don't know. I mean, that could thing could be used to build buildings or something like that hold like a roof up or something. And that thing is huge. It also comes with um, standard AV cables, not high definition, though I personally would have liked them to give a, at least an HDMI cable considering we're actually spending 300 bucks on this thing. But oh well, I'll buy, I have my own. So here we go, this is a power brick and it's huge. I mean, that thing is just huge. I feel that the design of the new PS3 Slim is actually um, much nicer. Um, I actually own that, um, and I must say, I mean, that thing is just slimmer, but, I mean, Xbox 360 is actually really nice as well. And for games like Halo and everything else, um, it's like a welcome addition. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, there are two vents on the top, vents on the side, and a glossy finish. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed the review. See you later. Bye.